Paul the liar. Let's call him by name. Paul, uh, the person who wrote 13 books of uh, New Testament, is a liar, and the proof is in his own wording. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu wa rasulillah. Uh, in our subject today, we discussed uh, uh, the person who is Paul, uh, who suddenly uh, becomes uh, equal to uh, uh, Jesus himself, and even more important, you know, because he actually uh, laid down the version of Christianity which is followed today uh, by the Christians uh, and practices, introductions, and changings, you know. Firstly, why I call Paul a liar? In Romans uh, 3 7, Paul says, you know, new international version. Some might argue if my fal falsehood enhances God's truthfulness so, uh, and so increase in his glory, why am I still con condemned as a sinner? New uh, King James Version. For, for if it's true of glory, increase through my lie to his glory, why I still. Uh, why also still judge as a sinner? Uh, so uh, very clear. Now, uh, how can you uh, think about it? How can you glorify God by lies? Which prophet glorified God by lies? None of them. So it's very very uh, interesting statement yeah, because Paul admits that he lies about God which means, in his opinion, he glorify him with his lies. And he's questioning, why am I sinful? Lie is a sin. <laughs> this is the law of God. And uh, there's no question about it. Nobody needs to lie about God to glorify him, unless you have a different intention. God comes with the true. His abundance of true. You don't need lies to glorify him. This is absolutely nonsense. This is a lie. This is falsehood. And he admitted. He admitted the lies about God. Romans 3.17. Please watch this uh, carefully. Pay attention to this because it's very important. Now, uh, from all of his falsehoods and lies, you know, uh, what we know about Paul. Paul originally, uh, before uh, uh, you know, um, he become uh, first uh, uh, apostle. <laughs> Subhanallah, uh, he uh, was actually prosecuting the Christians. You know, who was Paul before his name was Saul, and he was actually the person. You know, uh, back in the days, they haven't got a system like today. So it was not like uh, you have the police and you have authorities and cameras, CCTV and fingerprints and everything, you know, and you can, you got addresses of the people and you can track them through cameras and can track them to family and everything. Before they had actually people like Paul. So when there was somebody like, you know, need to collect the debts, you know, or they need to torture somebody, you know, or they need to do some dirty job, you know, or maybe somebody is not, you know, beneficial for the authorities and they need to silence him down, they hire people like Paul. And Paul took his fellows <laughs> and he either, you know, he do the job or he brought him to, uh, uh, you know, to the emperor, you know, and they, you know, deal with them. And this is what he was doing. This is this is historical fact. He was bringing uh, Christians, uh, you know, to the torture, you know. So suddenly he become a saint. It's a joke, you know. Now, listen to this. The New Testament has 27 books, four books, only, uh, you know, are addressed as a gospel, yeah, which we know that this is not the same gospel which was revealed uh, to Isa alayhi salam. It's changed. But look at this. 13 of books uh, was written by Paul. And you still have no proof that everything what is written there, that the Paul read himself, you know, same as the gospels, you know, this is just name added after. Um, so uh, in this understanding, uh, we have to ponder, you know, person who glorify, uh, use the lies about God, how how, um, how we can encompass this in understanding that this person lay down the foundation of Christianity. Like, for example, uh, you know, I had a discussion, you know, at the, at the Dawah store with the Christians that, you know, actually, uh, we in Islam, we follow the prophetic traditions, you know, and we return to the traditions of Abraham. Because that was uh, the, the origin uh, of the, uh, this is the foundation of the monotheism which uh, uh, Abraham recognized when all of the earth fell into shirk and kufr 
Abraham will be one, is one, the one, one person, Alhamdulillah, who recognizes God and himself, the true God. So, from him we, we, we know that, you know, uh, all of the family, you know, actually in followers, yeah, they supposed to follow the original fitra, or the original uh, default of the religion. But this religion been changed. And the uh, person who oh, was uh, one of the biggest impact is the Paul. So, for example, uh, 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 quotes of Jesus in uh, Matthew uh, 5, 17. Uh, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have uh, not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Yeah? So that's, that's a quote from the Bible uh, uh, regards to uh, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, uh, peace be upon him, saying. Now we have... Uh, a different uh, a version from Paul, who uh, in uh, Ephesians 2.15 uh, says uh, that he did this by ending the system of love, of law with its commandments and regulation. He made peace between Jews and Gentiles by creation himself, one of the people uh, from the two groups. Um, Paul was, uh, you know, the, the gospel was sent to uh, uh, the uh, the people the, the the Jews to bring them back to the fitra the original state he come uh, to the, his mission was uh, to bring the, the 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 nation to origin so he he come to correct uh, you know and Allah has revealed you know regards to the law and regards to the practices which was introduced by people to uh, the monotheistic monotheistic religion of Allah. Unfortunately, uh, people didn't accept him and they reject his message and then came after people like Paul and others who totally uh, distorted the, uh, the true message uh, of God. Uh, so, he uh, claims, you know, that uh, um, he changed the, uh, uh, the system of the law and abandoned commandments, which is not true absolutely, because like I mentioned here, you know, uh, uh, it's a contradiction, but at the same time, uh, Isa alayhi salam, uh, Jesus peace be upon him, said that uh, actually he come to fulfill the law, not to abolish them. SubhanAllah. So that's the one point. <laughs>